Okay, so looking at this picture, what do you see? What do you think? Oh, what do you wonder? Shyla. I wonder if there's any kids on the playground. Hmm, that's an interesting one. On this part of the playground, because I can't really see them. Oh, so you wonder if there's any one kind of in the side over here? Yeah, and right here, if there's anybody here. What does it look like? It looks like um, it looks like a tower. No, but does it look like there's any kids there, Shyla? No. Hmm. I wonder I why. I think that little boy is just there. Oh, where is there a little boy? <gasps> right here. Right. But I wonder why there's nobody over on this side of the playground. I wonder why there's so few people here. Okay. I see so many over here, too. That's interesting. So, so and far, how many people do you see in the playground, Shyla? One, two. I don't know if it's a baby. Oh, it, let's look here. If we look closely, is it? Um, no. So, how many people do we see? I wonder if those trees are the same height. Oh, what do you mean? What trees are the same height? Wait, but this one's the tallest yeah. of this tree, and these are, and this one's not. Okay. So it's like, what? I wonder what if there's the other trees of, of um, the same size as this one. Oh, those are some interesting wonders, Shyla. There might be some other people that have things to share. Would you like to pass the marker to somebody else that has something to share? But, but I think that sometimes when there's trees right here, um, they look short. But when they get closer, it gets bigger. Oh, why do you think that happens? So they look smaller there, but then when you get closer, they look bigger. Does, does anyone know why that might happen? That these trees look smaller here in the picture, but when you get closer, they look bigger. Anyone know why that happens? Sarah? Because if you're higher, you might think the smaller, but the bigger. Hmm. So some interesting thoughts. Um, Aiden, would you like to come up and share something, or do you want to just stay there and share something? If they're, if they're, if they're far away from the tree, can you stay a lot closer? That's because the trees are bigger. They can, they think it's small, but it's really not because it just changes size when if you're far from the tree or if you're almost at the tree. Okay. I was wondering what this part was called. Oh, that is a good question. I wonder that too. And sometimes there's like a sign that says what it's called. Oh, and it seems to be missing that sign, doesn't it? Okay, um, Mariana, would you like to pass the marker to somebody else who might have something else to share with their thoughts or questions or wonders? Well, oh, Shyla's out. Hold on, Shyla's already. Well, had I was it. wondering if yeah. what is the city of it? Okay, so we'll hold on to that wonder too. What would, did you want to add, Faith? Huh? Well, well, look at It's all blurry a little bit, so maybe that's why nobody can see both all of these kids here. Oh, so you think they might be hiding and we just can't see it because of the picture? Yeah. Why is it so blurry? That's a great question. That question I can answer. It's blurry because I took a small picture and I enlarged it into a bigger one so it would fit the screen so you could see it. But that is a good question. See, that's why we can't see all the kids, and that's why we can't see the sign. So you Maybe. think they're hiding? Maybe no, there are they're kids. Maybe. Maybe uh, there's only one kid. Well, how many does it look like there are for sure, Dana? Two. Okay, Dana, do you want to put that down for a minute? Because now I have another question. Yesterday, we had a look at our snail, except what we found out is that it didn't look like our snails had survived, did it? And a lot of 
people wanted to get some more pets. They wanted to find some more snails. But Dana, I didn't know where to possibly look. So, if we're going to go and have a look. Lisa, where are you going? Come and sit for no. Come and sit for a minute. Then you can go out in a second. If if we're gonna go and have a look, I don't want to just take everybody and just go wandering around. I want to plan. So if I was going to go for my plan, we're gonna make a. Snail plan. A snail plan. I want to find us a new class pet. Where could we look? Who can give me some ideas? Jordan? Maybe we can the dirt field. There's lots of um, snails or worms in the dirt. Okay. So I think I'm going to draw here a pile of dirt. Hmm, what does the spell dirt? Let's see if we can stretch it out. Duh, earth. What do we hear in dirt? D. Okay, then what do we hear? R. Dirt. D. Which one? Sorry? D. You got it. Now, usually there's a vowel that comes in here to make the er sound. Does anyone know what letter might go with the R to give us that er sound? Okay, usually it would be an er. No, it's kind of funny because it actually turns out to be an I, but the E-R does usually say er, so it makes sense. So we could go and we could look in the dirt, and Jordan said that's because there's lots of snails and worms in the dirt, right? So I'm going to write up here snails and worms. Okay. Who else can give me an idea of where we might go and search? Bushes. Okay. Hmm. What color are bushes? Green. Okay. So I think I'm going to go over on this side. Why might I look in the bushes? Because that's where I dumped some of my snails. Oh. So, hmm. Bushes. Let's try that. Uh, uh, Favorite sounds. <laughs> and then we got bush eggs. Why do you think it's I-S? Because okay. is is I-S. So here are our bushes. Now Aiden said that's because I'm gonna write here. Aiden found. In. How do I spell in? I N N the. Oh, we know this one. T H E is the. T H E is the. T H E T H E is the. Bushes. And I'm going to write bushes again. Bush. And I, because I've written it here, I can look here. And then what should come at the end of my sentence? Period. So far, I've got my snail plan of dirt and bushes. Anywhere else we should look? Tree. Okay. So, I'm going to guess, well, usually I find trees somewhere where there's grass. So first I'm going to draw the grass. And then, grass, I'm going to start tree stump. So what letter will we start with? Yes. Right. Then what? Oh, you 
bought the word tree, but I want trees. Because you bought it. Now, does anyone know why I might look in trees or buy trees? Because sometimes, sometimes there's nature and stuff. Okay, but why would that help me for snails? Because sometimes snails hibernate. Do snails hibernate? No. I didn't think Some, so. Maybe they, they, sometimes when they want to rest and they have nowhere to go, they just stay there instead of going all the way back home. So we're going to go with snails. And then I'm going to leave a space. Rest. Let's sound out rest. 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 Snails rest here. Now, I actually know the word here because it could be a sight word, so I'm going to put a pyramid here. Now, this is not my whole plan because I'm thinking, gosh, if I were to go outside, where might I go first? Maybe I want to go here first. Then maybe from here, I want to go all the way over to these bushes, and I want to go here second. And then from here, I want to go all the way over to the trees. And third, is this the, are these the only places we can look? No! No, I'm not going to add the rest. If you would be like a snail discovery person, then you can go on a snail hunt. Let's see if we can find us ourselves some new clothes. So we need a plan. Who is going to help make a plan for today so that we can go? The plan needs to include our words and our pictures. So, oh, but you know what? All your parents sign permission for us to go on a little walk in the community. 